Okay, so this is a very cool video uh, of Peter Sagan doing something that only Peter Sagan is good at doing, you know, just um, just yeah, just playing it by ear, you know, hamming it up for the cameras and uh, keeping his fans entertained. So uh, this is a very Peter Sagan thing to do. And uh, just keep in mind, uh, the story before this was on uh, Matt Horton versus uh, Sun Yang and the whole uh, drug controversy there. He refused to... Um, Refused to go on the podium with Sun Yang, he got a silver medal. So they were talking about drugs in sports, so uh, this will explain why the introduction was like this. Let's move away from drugs in sport now. I want to go to the Tour de France. A fan was trying to get an autograph from current green jersey holder, Peter Sagan, uh, while he was still riding. Who tries to get an autograph when somebody's still riding? I'd say the odds of getting a rider to do that would be pretty slim. Frank. Really? He takes it. What? Yes! He got it. Is it bad that I wanted him to get rolled over at the end? In a word, yes, 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 it is. <laughs> okay, so that was pretty cool. Um, uh, as you know, I live in Adelaide and uh, we got the tour down under here, so I've met Peter, oh geez, uh, three years in a row now. I managed to ride with his wife, uh, it was his ex wife now, Katarina, um, which is pretty sad because I thought they were a great couple. I, I was very surprised when they broke up. Um, and I'll, I'll leave some links below uh, so you can check out the videos when I'm riding with Pete. Also, Met him at the Tour Down Under dinner as well and uh, got some autographs done. He uh, quite liked some of my cycling pictures and I'll, I'll put a link there to my uh, cycling web page so you can check out some of the pictures I've done with Peter. I don't really spend too much time on my uh, cycling website you know, page. You know, I've got a photography website, but um, I do, do more YouTube now. There's no, there's no money in photography. I just put it up there just as a bit of a service just to show people some of the photos I take. And... Uh, I just keep them there and sometimes print them out and get some of the pros to sign them. I had Richie Port sign one photo when he was uh, a few years ago and he goes, oh, boy, I'm pretty chubby there, eh? <laughs> but yeah, Peter, Peter Sagan, he's a, he's, a bit of a, he's a bit of an enigma. Like, you'll meet him and you'll think, oh, this guy looks really serious. He's almost got like a shy seriousness about him. And then out of the blue, he'll just come up with a, with a joke, like, just to break the ice and... Um, it's quite interesting when I was when I was riding with um, with him and his wife and uh, oops let's get back uh, forgot to turn it off before I started anyway so I was riding with him and his wife and uh, and I was just I was so excited because this fit, this was one of my first rides with the pros and and I managed to ride with Peter and it was just me and him and his wife because uh, some of the other guys didn't catch. I caught. I, you know, I managed to get to get the lights, and they they went quick enough, and I got left behind at the tour village. And um, so I'm there, I'm all excited. I go, "Oh my God, I'm riding with Peter Sagan!" And he goes, two Peter Sagans." <laughs> and I was like, "What do you mean, two Peter Sagans?" Because at the time, I thought it was um, his wife was like his uh, merchandise director or, or some sort of person, or maybe somebody who wanted to ride with him because she was all dressed up in like you know Peter Sagan outfit. So I thought maybe it's a you know top fan that you know managed to get a ride with him. It's only later that I found out it was his wife, and um, yeah, you know, it's just things like that. He just comes up with little little things that you sort of think, no, he's pretty funny. <laughs> That's why he's got a big tattoo on him. That says why so serious. But um, yeah, so if you ever meet him, you'll know what I mean. He's uh, he sort of comes comes across reasonably serious, but then he'll just come out with a joke just out of the blue, and uh, just to show that he's He's not very serious at all, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm sure he, I'm sure he trains really hard. But um, yeah, he's got that good mix. He's got that good mix of being a serious uh, pro rider and also having fun while he's doing it. So that's what I like about him. But um, there we go. So um, yeah, I'll leave some links. I'll leave some links in the description uh, of my other videos of Peter. I also did a I did a really cool prank with him. You know, once I sort of uh, realised that he likes a bit of fun, I did a bit of a prank because he. He won the Slovakian jersey, but he didn't have a world, 
he didn't have his world championship. He lost the world championships, which was understandable because it was a fairly hilly course. So I, I pranked him. I had I had like a world championship jersey underneath mine. And I sort of under the jersey I go, hey Peter, I'll, I'll sell you my I'll sell you this jersey for like five dollars. <laughs> and he had a bit of a laugh about it, but. Um, I've got that. I've got that uh, on video somewhere, and I'll, I need to make a video on that one. As this year's Tour de France, uh, Tour Down Under, and so I'll, when I've got time, I'll do that. Anyway, I've uh, been doing too much Meghan Markle stuff. I've been uh, getting away from my roots of uh, doing cycling videos, which is you know how I started my channel in the first place. I was used to digitise old uh, Tour de France footage from my beta video collection in VHS, and uh, put it up, and that's how I grew my channel. But um, ASO took uh, <laughs> they took one of my videos down. That was, I thought, oh, that's it. I can take all that stuff down. So my channel has evolved quite a few times over the years, and I sort of uh, and Meghan Markle came to Australia and I started doing all that. So there you go. We're going off topic anyway, but um, that's just to fill you in how my channel's evolved, and uh, I endeavoured to do a lot more cycling stuff. Uh, things like you know when I rode with Eddie Merckx, rode with Lance Armstrong. If I was going. Rrr, but uh, at the time, that was a big deal. That was a really big deal. He did a Twitter ride, and there was like 10,000 people turned up. It was just incredible, uh, the atmosphere. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll explain how I actually managed to get right up to front. And uh, that was a good little story. And just things like that, just little things that I, you know, I haven't put up yet that I, I want to do. I've got a whole list of videos I want to put up. So anyway, uh, I'd better get back to it. I'll start uh, working on some of these, and I'll see you next time, guys. See ya.